In this video, I wanted to share how to get started with groundwork with a young horse. So Ruach here, we think he's probably like 10 to 12 months old. So these are exercises I've been working with Ruach on and just introducing him to the concept of groundwork. And as always, it's important to remember when you're working with a baby, you only want to work with them for probably 10 to 15 minutes at a time, just because their attention span is really short and you don't want them to start getting frustrated. So what we're doing today is we're basically just recording our session working with Ruach um, just to keep it short for him. So the first exercise I started with him um, was how to back up. And this was really to just start teaching him personal space because he was very pushy when I got him. And so I just kind of wiggle my rope and he'll back up. And with him, since he is so friendly and he wants attention, once he backs up, I will always go to him and pet him kind of as a reward. And so he knows that backing up is good. And if he backs up, I'll come to him. And then once you've had your horse back up, you can start gently pulling them to you. And this is going to teach your horse to respond to that pressure on the lead rope. And so I kind of play a game with this where I'll get him to back up. Back up. And then I'll have him step forward, even if it's just one step. And then I may ask him, stop there. Back up again. I know you're getting mad at me. <laughs> and then I'll have him step forward again. Good boy. And this is actually really good for starting to teach them to tie and to lead because once they learn to step forward to that pressure of you pulling them towards you, that's gonna help them with leading and with tying. Another great exercise to start teaching your young horse is how to flex their neck to the side. So what this looks like is, I wanna be able to bring Ruach's head around like that, almost to his shoulder. And the reason for that is, especially with babies, you just wanna be safe or have control. And so with him, especially in the beginning, he would just wanna kind of walk off when I was taking his halter off. And so I would flex his head like this and take his halter off like that compared to if I'm like this and he could just run forward. And so this is also something if you're introducing them to something new, like fly spray or even a saddle, if you can get them to flex like this, they're not gonna run you over. The next exercise that is very important for any horse to learn is disengaging the hind end. So what I'm looking for with this exercise is for the back feet to cross one in front of the other, like that. And so we're still working on this. This is relatively new to him, but this is gonna give you control of your horse. And so if your horse is ever bolting or bucking or rearing under saddle, you can disengage that hind end and have them stop. Or it's just good for them to know to move their hind end away from you while you're on the ground. So if he's tied up and I want him to move over, I should be able to push his side and he steps that hind end away. No biting. So the way I started teaching him this, just to help him understand, is we will be leading and walking. The next thing I'm gonna do is turn around bring my hand towards his withers and just walk straight back to where he has to turn around and go with me. And so that he's getting the swinging motion. And another big aspect of that is bringing your hand up towards the wither and he will step his hind end around and come with me. So this is how I started this with him. Good boy, that was good. And so now he's gotten really good at it to where I can We start kind of doing that. Good boy. Yeah. Another easy way to start practicing disengaging the hind end is leading your horse through a gate. And when you get to the other side, you want them to stop and face the gate so he can step that little butt around. And even though that's just a beginning, it's starting somewhere. Just like disengaging the hind end, moving the horse's shoulders is just as important. So when you can control the horse's shoulders, you can control the direction in which your horse travels. So that's why it's important to teach your horse, especially starting young. So this is a new concept for Ruach, so he's still getting it, but it is moving his shoulders. And so I want his shoulders to swing like the hind end. So I have a fence behind me because I think the fence is kind of a visual indicator to the horse of what I kind of want from them. I don't want them to step forward. I more so want them to go sideways and pivot. I can stand on my fence and use my rope to swing it at their shoulder and block with my hand. There. And even just starting with one step. And there he wanted to step out of it. But that's a really simple way to start with your young horse. Don't run into me. Good. Baby steps. Good boy. So that's the very beginning of working on that exercise. I think it's very important to work with your baby horse on standing tied as soon as you can. 
And so once you've done the exercise of backing your horse up and having them come forward so they kind of understand the concept of pressure on their head, no, then you can start work on standing tied. So with this, what I do, I don't actually tie the horse, but I will loop the rope just around like a fence post or something to mimic them being tied. But yet if the horse pulls back, they can still go back, but I'll just hold on to this end of the rope. And so I'll stand here and I can work with them and brush them and everything like that. And they get used to that feeling of just maybe having pressure on their face that they need to respond to and step up to. This is just the beginning to working with young horses on groundwork, but if you want a complete breakdown step-by-step -step how to teach more detailed groundwork exercises, check out my online course, How to Gain and Maintain Your Horse's Respect Through Groundwork. While this is great for baby horses, you can also do this with an adult horse as well, or just maybe a horse you've just gotten and you wanna start getting them used to that process. If you're interested in that course, I'll put the link in the description or you can go to shop.equinehelper.com for more.